MaxBoxingScene.com at the BB King Blues Club in the heart of Manhattan in Times Square where we caught up with heavyweight Chaz Witherspoon. Chaz, the last time out against Chris Ariola, things didn't go your way. Tell us about that. Um, well, I, I give Chris. Okay, you got it. I give Chris all the credit in the world. Um, tough guy. Um, he came to fight. Um, I deviated from my plan, and I believe that's what ultimately uh, hurt me in the end. I allowed my pride to get kind of caught up in the ring, and I started trading with him. And that's not my fight. You know, he's a brawler, and uh, he got the better of me. That was a lot of people's question. Why did you choose to stand and fight with him? Uh, is your pride that big? Yeah, yeah, my pride is, but um, I'm learning to leave my pride outside the ring. Um, I have the heart of a warrior, and uh, when all the chips are down, you know, I'm going to start trading and start uh, fighting with the person. And it was my inexperience coming out as well because I, I could have tied him up, you know, I could have danced away, I could have did some other things, but uh, my pride said, hey, stand there and fight, show this guy you're not a punk, you know, and that, that was foolish of me, you know, I learned from it, I'm going to be. A much, uh, a much better fighter because of it. So um, I learned a lot from that fight. And, I mean, everybody loses. So, I mean, I'm going to take it. Definitely going to use it as motivation. And I believe it's going to make me a much better fighter. Give us your opinion of Chris Ariola as a fighter. Um, He's a tough guy. I mean, he keeps coming forward. He's, he's hard to deter. You know, I was hitting him with some shots, and he just kept coming forward. Um, I believe he's going to do pretty good in the heavyweight division. Um. I don't know uh, how to match him as far as what's his next uh, up couple of fights or whatever, but I believe he can do pretty well. You know, he's a tough guy. He, he can punch, and uh, he, he means business. So. What about you? Where do you hope to go from here? Um, well, um, from what I hear, I just was talking with my promoter. We're, I'm going to be fighting again in uh, November on Jermaine Taylor's undercard. Um, if I get something before then, it'll probably be something uh, off TV and local, you know, and uh, I'm just trying to uh, keep it pushing. I mean, that was a learning experience, but I'm not looking to take any steps back. I'm going to keep going. I mean, um, such is life. I'm 23-1 and one now, and it's time to keep stepping up the competition. The heavyweight division is wide open. Are you going to come at it full force? Definitely so. I mean, I just want to, uh, I, I mean, I have to fight who my promoters and them go after, but, I mean, whoever we can make the fight with, I'm not ducking anybody. I mean, a lot of people were surprised that I took the fight with Chris Ariola this early, but I'm not I'm not here to duck anybody. I mean, if you're going to box, you got to fight. You got to fight who they put in front of you, and I'm not scared of anybody. Whoever you put in front of me, I'm going to fight them, and I think that also hurt me in that fight with Chris Ariola because anybody you put in front of me, I'm not scared of them. I'm not going to run. You know, I'm going to sit there and fight with you, but, you know, I just got to do it in a smarter way next time. That's all, you know. So is there anything you want to say to, to the fans and especially the disappointed Chaz Witherspoon fans out there? Yeah, don't be disappointed too much. Um, it was a learning experience. Um, I'm a better man because of it. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely coming back. And uh, it, like I said, it's a learning experience, and I'm coming back. I'm not deterred by it. I'm just going to learn from it and fight a lot smarter. You know, I'm a boxer, and I'm going to use my boxing ability. That's what it is. And Chaz, good luck in the future, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah.